Walmart today and I am super excited as per usual because you guys know how much I love Walmart and this video is not even sponsored. Where are they by the way? Can you call me Walmart? I need a sponsorship. <laughs> anyway you guys, I am excited to show you this scoop blazer. I've styled it a certain way before you guys freak out over the tube top. Just know that you can wear anything you want underneath. You can wear a cami from this five pack of camis, which I had in the drawer as well, but I just wanted to wear the tube top. You guys know how I am with the tube tops. All right, so this blazer is gorgeous. It is from Scoop, as I mentioned. It doesn't have any buttons or anything like that. You just leave it open. And do I have a price for you? $38. This is called the Peak Lapel Blazer. Love it, you guys, love it. I did grab my baguette to complete the look. You guys know I have to complete everything. Oh, by the way, for jewelry, I'm just wearing my rings from Target, and then these are actually from H&M, and a lot of times I can't link them, but I think Time and True has similar ones. I have my hair pulled back and small earrings on and no necklace. I'm sort of redoing what I saw a lot in LA. Now, most of the girls I saw doing this were 20 years younger than me, but I figured it is a style that I can pass on to you. In LA, they were obsessed with slicking their hair back into these ponytails, and I mean way slicker than this, and then small earrings. A lot of times the pony was then braided, and I kind of got the idea that they were all little wannabe Haley Beavers, <laughs> but they were really cute, so I thought I'd do that, especially because you guys can see the blazer and everything better when my hair is pulled back. All right, let me back up and show you that I am wearing the Sofia Vergara trouser jeans, you guys. These came back into stock. She restocked a ton of her jeans. I already brought you the ankle length ones from last week's Walmart Wednesday video. So this week I have for you the trouser jeans. Now these are gorgeous. I meant to grab them in a size four. I got the six, they're fine, but they would have been a little more tailored of a fit to me in the size four. Tons of stretch in these, you guys, and they're in that really pretty dark wash. I did pair everything with my beige pumps. I could link the Time and True pumps for you. They're like in a faux suede. And I just like this look. So it's kind of like got that conservative but edgy look, if that makes sense. You've got a blazer on, you're wearing pumps, you have almost dress pants jeans, which I will come up and show you the details on the jeans. But then I have a tube top on and I feel like that just gives it that little bit of edge. Now you'll get the same effect should you wear a cami instead. So here's the back. You can see that the blazer does come down below the butt and it's really cute. I love the scrunch sleeves and look at the button detail, you guys. Fabric covered buttons always make things look so high end. So I'm gonna put the purse down. I'm gonna take the blazer off. Now this is a really teeny tiny tube top. I only wear this one with something over and very high-waisted jeans or pants. So these jeans, you guys, are so cute. Again, they're in a trouser cut. What that means is they're almost like a dress pant, but in denim. So in the back, you have the slit pockets, just like you would in a pair of dress pants. And then you have the flat front and the side pockets like this. And of course, they are ultra high rise and in a flare. I love that look. I feel like it's super flattering to most body types because you get that pull in the waist and you're gonna be reached at the smallest part of your waist because they are so high rise. Then if you do have a wider hip, that flare down at the bottom is going to balance you out. Now, I know many of you are not happy with the length on the jeans with Sofia Vergara, and I do apologize. It's obviously not my fault, but I'm still going to bring the jeans to you, and then you can decide do you want to wear a heel or not. Now, these are longer than usual on me, and I think it's because I did grab them in a six, and there's honestly just... Look at this, you guys. There's so much room on these jeans. I think a four would have lifted them up a bit and I wouldn't have had all of this because there's only so much torso left on me. But that is probably why the length looks so much longer. Now I do have a heel on as well, so keep that in mind. I believe her jeans run about a 32 and a half inch on the inseam, which is pretty long. I understand that. Again, I am five feet, five inches tall, but my legs are long. So a lot of times I can get away with a longer length for that reason. But I can't get away with anything long on top. So it's always one or the other, right? You guys, the grass is not always greener. So as I mentioned, I have a ton to show you. So I'm going to get to my next look. I am back and I just filmed another reel over on Instagram. It almost got ruined by a siren outside, but your girl recouped and I am back here for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's been a while. You guys have no idea. It was instantaneous for you all. All right. What am I wearing now? I think this is a perfect casual holiday look. And I'm so mad because I have to take these pants back and reorder them in my proper size. But let's go over everything. I did grab my triple bangle bracelet. I love to put this on over a tight sleeve so that you can see it. See that, you guys? So cute. Everything else is the same. Wait, was I wearing my double diamond earrings? I think I was, right? Okay. And my gold initial necklace. No, I added this. Okay, gold initial <laughs> necklace and double diamond earrings. I'm not refilming this scene. I know I'm goofy, but I have so much going on today. What is new, right? All right, let me back up and show you the pants that I'm complaining about because I'm in love with them and I want them to be perfect and not have to return them, but it's okay. Now, for you guys, you won't have that issue because you have me. So size down in these, you guys. These are in a size four. And look at this room. They're not, uh, are they stretchy? Oh, a little bit stretchy, but it's not even the stretch, it's the cut. So here you go. In the size four, again, I think I recently said how Sofia Vergara's items seem to be running big lately so yeah definitely size down in these they're a wide leg they have pockets they are beautiful you guys you are going to love them again they're in that velvet or velour this color is kind of brown i'm going to look at the tag and see if it says what it's called oh you guys it's called french roast sophia you are so creative so these are the french roast pants here's the back does have a faux pocket, which I love. You don't have to worry about lining getting bunched up in the back. Look at the side, you guys. Now these, I don't feel like run super duper long. So I think you can get away with getting your proper size and maybe wearing a two inch heel and you guys should be good. So loving these, I paired them with one of her bodysuits. I've been telling you guys for a while how fantastic and buttery soft these bodysuits are. This is just the plain black one. I thought it looked great. You can also wear a classic white blouse with these pants. That would look cute as well. Now for shoes, I didn't think that a suede or a faux suede would look good with a velvet or velour pants. So I just grabbed my tall boots from Amazon. You guys, I will be showing you these again. These are kind of my favorite lately. You know how I go in little spurts here and there, but I do love these. So I'll make sure to link them for you. Again, they are from Amazon and they are from Dream Pairs which is a great company over there on Amazon. I've done hauls with them before and they really are great, well-made shoes. So these are comfy and I like the way they look with this outfit. So keep that in mind. You probably wouldn't want to wear suede at the bottom, but you may have, you know, black pumps or something like that that you guys like to wear. I like to give you options, but I also like to bring you outfits that you can wear with stuff you already have. You don't need to buy everything head to toe, um, and that goes for anything I show you. And same goes for colors, you guys. A lot of people tell me, Liz, that's too much black. I know, but that's what I'm comfortable with. So if you want a different color, just click on my link. It will take you right over to the website, and you can see all the color options that you guys have. So medium on the bodysuit. I size up on these, but size down on the pants, you guys. But they are comfy and gorgeous. You can wear these to work for sure. Sometimes a lot of companies, I know they've gotten away from the holiday parties. The budgets have shrunk. And so you guys have holiday luncheons. These would be great for that event. All right, I am gonna keep going. Are you guys everyday hair washers? I am, and I did not wash my hair today. I was way too busy. And as you can imagine, all this hair takes a lot to do. So I, I was too busy basically, and I didn't wash it. I styled it, I took a shower, but just didn't do my hair and I'm miserable. Anyone else? Comment below. All right, let me show you this dress by Scoop, you guys. It is bodycon. It is sort of short. I wouldn't say this mini, you guys be the judge. And I'm wearing it with tall boots. I'm 52 years old wearing a bodycon mini dress, we'll call it, with tall boots. What do you guys think? I feel perfectly fine. There's something about this dress that is stunning. Also, I'm wearing this shapewear by Sofia Vergara. That's it, just this really mild shapewear. It's just enough, it's so comfy. You guys will love it. And this dress, the way it is made, is not making me feel self-conscious about it being bodycon or clingy. I grabbed it in a size medium because I knew that it was that more fitted look with a very thin material. It has a mock neck to it. But the best part is this ruching on the side, you guys. Look at that. The way it was made, it is forgiving in through here. And I feel like the back is a little bit more of an A-line cut, not super wide A-line, but just enough where it's not clinging to the widest part of my hips back here. So here's the back. 
And then here it is from the side. I don't feel like I have a huge tummy sticking out or anything. And then we've got that ruching that goes across and gives you all those little folds that really does flatter your body. I love when designers make clothing that flatters a real woman's body. Do not make clothing for models who are so tall with long torsos and look like a coat hanger walking. This dress is gorgeous. It is made for a real woman's body and I certainly have one of those. So I think you guys are gonna love it. I did again size up to a medium and I found that it is more forgiving that way and not as body kind. All right, you guys, I'll be back with my next look. All right, guys, I'm back. Your girl's wearing a sweater. I know, who am I? But I do know that most of you do like sweaters. I'm funny about them, but this one is okay because it's nice and stretchy and super soft, you guys. I'm wearing it in a size, it's a no boundaries. I grabbed it in a medium like I always do in no boundaries. But this is called that Fair Isle print and this is trending everywhere. I was walking down the street in Manhattan and I saw this in the J. Crew window. And it was very similar. It was the Fair Isle print on a sweater. They had cardigans, they had sweater dresses, all with this style to it. I remember having this in freshman year in high school and I had the cutest one, but do you guys remember? Mine had little unicorns in the middle of it. What was I doing? I was not cool. Anyway, those were cute and they're back now, but they're in a little more mature print. You know, no unicorns or bears. I remember bears going through and hearts. But I paired it with these cargo pants, you guys. These are also by No Boundaries. These are the wide leg cargos that have the pull sides like that hanging down and then the double pockets on the sides. Now I put on my slouch boots in the brown color. These are the boots that go all the way up. You guys are gonna wanna get the booties if you want to pair them with pants. It'll just be a lot easier. I mean, because they're wide leg, I can wear the boots. So if you do have these already, you can certainly do this look but I think they'd be cuter with the booties and you wouldn't have, you know, boots that are going all the way up to the knee. Show you the back of the pants. I love that it has number one elastic back here, nice and comfy. And then I love these flaps with the faux pockets. I think that looks so flattering from behind. So I love this look. Now these pants, of course, I would wear with a black shirt, probably a bodysuit, knowing me, and black heels just to kind of snazz it up and then a leather jacket. That would be the way I wear it. But I know that many of you just want casual looks. You're not always doing that edgy date night look that I kind of like a lot. But I like to bring you all kinds of ways to wear things. So grab this sweater, you guys. Guess how much this one is? This is only $16.98. So snuggly and cuddly. Look at that material. It's that really fuzzy, soft, knit and I love this color. Now it does come in a different colorway. I believe it's like a navy with some other colors but again click on my link and you guys will be taken right to the page and you'll see all the different options that they have. All right you guys I have a few more looks. I'll be right back. I'm super excited about this look. When I was in LA I saw people wearing these shirts so much. My cousin who lives in Vegas met me in LA and she had one on. Looked adorable. She's adorable regardless and a friend of my husband's who also met us for drinks had a similar shirt on so it's for guys and girls but i had to have one when i came back and i had remembered seeing them at walmart i thought they were by signature by levi's and they may have one in that line but this is by lee you guys it's those western shirts that have snaps and the buttons even have that white pearl love now you know i have to leave them unbuttoned you could button up to the neck if you want but this is how i do it it has the two front pockets this is in a size small i wanted it to be fitted and then it has three snaps on the sleeves there which i prefer to roll up they are long enough by the way if you're curious about that and i seized the opportunity to pair this gorgeous western denim shirt with this corduroy skirt you guys it is in that really pretty brown color, almost like a caramel. And I paired it, because we're going Western, with my black Western cowboy boots. You're gonna get these if you want to from Madden NYC. Love this whole look. It is gorgeous. Oh, and I did grab my Time and True baguette because I thought with this buckle, it was kind of Western as well. And here is the full look, you guys. Love, love, love this. I almost wish, not quite, but almost wish I was still going into the office so I could wear this look to work. Now, yes, I would button it up higher, but I'm not going into the office, so I'm gonna leave it open. Here's the back of the skirt. It does have two pockets. They are real. They're kind of short though, so you're not gonna have bunched up lining. 
and I'm wearing this skirt in a size four. It is in a really pretty corduroy. Hopefully that's showing up on screen. Love, love, love this entire look. Now keep in mind, you guys, that they are showing this season and I'm sure I'll show it at some point, denim on denim. So yes, you can pair this shirt with your favorite pair of jeans and it will be right on trend. Oh, do I look different? I just sneezed, edited it right out. You guys don't even know, no one blessed me, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyway, I love that this skirt has pockets and I also love the length on it. It's a midi skirt, looks gorgeous with tall boots, but if you guys have clogs or wedges or even cute little flats, a little slit in the back, this skirt is gorgeous. Very forgiving cut. Again, I'm wearing it in a size four. There's a bit of stretch in it as well and a size small on that denim shirt by Lee. I'll make sure to link it all for you. Before I let you go to my next look, I do want to mention, and hopefully they're stock, if there isn't, it's okay, but this is on clearance. This blazer is the Ponte blazer with the scrunch sleeves by Scoop. It's got no lapels. It's like the shawl collar. Last I checked, plenty of stock in every size. I did show it last week, so it may be gone, but you guys, it's reduced down to 17 20 or something like that. So under $18 for it, which is unheard of. So if it's still there, I thought, what the heck, it's worth me talking about so you guys can grab the bargain. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get to my next look and I'm giving you two more looks because it's gonna be a bigger haul than I planned on, but that's okay, I'll be right back. I am back and I am thrilled with this look as well. I have a vest on. I know how much you guys love vests. This one is fantastic. It's quilted. I'm wearing it in a size small. I believe it's by Athletic Works. I could be wrong. It's by Avia. <laughs> I am wrong, but it's nice, you guys. I like vests because if it's not super cold out, but there's a breeze or a little chill, these will keep you nice and toasty warm. So loving this. Look at this though, you guys. New York. I was just there, like I keep telling you. It was so much fun. I love this sweater. It has, and I don't know if you guys noticed that, it has that little sparkle in the New York part. So cute, you guys. And I paired this whole look with these pants. Now, I was super excited about the vest and I was super excited about the sweater and I wasn't really worried about these pants. I'm like, oh, whatever. I feel like these are a best kept secret over there at Walmart. These are by, these are what are by Athletic Works. I'm wearing them this small. They're athletic or yoga pants with a little bit of a flare. Now I paired these slouch booties in black with this whole look. Let me take this off, I'll show it to you up close. It's so cute, it's quilted and just gorgeous. It does have pockets, which is great. I love the side little scoops there on the side that are cute and a nice quilted back. Just so warm and very light, you guys. So if you're out somewhere and you just wanna pack something in case you get cold in your purse or bag, you can do that. So here's the sweater by itself, loving it. Now these pants, okay, again, wearing them in a size small, look at the compression on that, you guys. Holding in my stomach and smoothing me out in the back. Let me back up and see. Hopefully you're getting a full view back there. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Now these are not in a solid black. These are sort of like a heathered charcoal. Let me see what they call it. Okay, they're calling it a black soot. Heather, I was right on point there. So loving all of this stuff, you guys. Now, if you don't wanna wear the entire outfit the way I paired it, you can certainly take each piece and do it the way you like it. You can wear this sweater with your own leggings that you have, or you can wear it with jeans. These are all really good pieces in and of themselves, but I have to show you a look. So this is how I styled everything. All right, you guys, I am getting tired. It's been a long haul, but I have one more holiday look to show you, and then we will go over this lip combo. Back with my final look. This, I swear, was out last year or something similar. I love these dresses, you guys. I am so comfortable. There's something to be said about comfort. I say this all the time. Wearing this in a small, it's by Time and True. It is in a very soft flannel. It's like wearing a flannel shirt that they made into a super comfy dress. Let me back up and show you. By the way, I did put my gold hoops in. Those will be linked below as well. Now, this dress is super casual in a way. So I thought that the black slouch boots would look really cute with this. And I definitely think that they do. So keep that in mind. This whole look is nice and comfy. The boots are comfy. And look, you guys, there's pockets. I just discovered that. OMG, how cute is that? Pockets, loving this look, you guys. Of course, it could be for the holidays. You can wear it to work. You can do whatever you want. It's so nice and easy. It does come in other colors if you're not a red person. 
I think this bright red with the black is gorgeous. Here's the back. I always have a tag, you guys. Can someone please tell me next time that I have a tag? When I'm editing, I'm so mad when I see it hanging. Can you give me a shout here and let me know? Loving the back. Loving the front, love the pockets, love how nice and loose it is. You don't need shapewear. I would put shapewear on though if I was wearing this to an office because I told you guys a million times, walking upstairs or if there's a little bit of a breeze, just feel more comfy knowing I have shapewear on to cover everything up. You know what I mean? So absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you are in a climate where it's cooler, you can certainly pair this with black tights, shoes, clogs, anything you guys want. It's just so comfortable. I cannot say that enough. Love, love, love this dress. Great for Thanksgiving because you can eat volumes in this. And then if you didn't want to wear red on Thanksgiving, you can go ahead and grab it in the other color. All right, you guys, I'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to go over this lip combo. I turn that camera around for you, but I have to tell you, it is evening, so not much sun is coming through, but hopefully this is still a more natural look to show you guys everything I did. And it's just two pieces today, you guys. So I actually did the gloss first. I came in with the Too Faced Lip Injection. This is a lip plumper and it really does plump. It stings a little bit at first, but that fades very quickly. And what I love is the high shine. So let me show you. I put this on first. And then I came in with Totally Toffee, which is a great nude liner. And I lined you guys. And I just kind of dotted the liner around, mashed my lips together, and that's how I got this really shiny, pretty nude look. So just two pieces, no lip color, just a gloss and this pencil. And as always, everything that you saw in today's video will be linked below. That is it, you guys. It was a really long one. I have to go run my daughter over to the high school. It is homecoming week here, and I've got to get her over there, and I feel like I heard a friend here. Apparently, I'm driving two girls over to the high school right now. Anyway, if you did like today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. I'm nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it